Yo, what's up, yo, man? Hey, it's your man, Kamari, aka Reno Slow Motion. Like a bone here. Um, as y'all did know, I was married, but I annulled the marriage um, due to the fault in information. And the reason why I default the marriage is because I was cheated before I got married. The wife, I supposedly, I took back. I dealt with the first time she cheated me, I dealt with the second time, and I'm a type of person, I, I'm a type of person, I try to give you the respect of maybe you won't, until you might mess up, but yeah, I found out she cheated on me before I got married, and I don't want to be married to a liar, and I don't want to be married to a cheater. That's the thing, so I'm not married anymore. The documentation, they don't hang up on the wall for her great graces. That was the certificate they gave us at the ceremony. It'll hang, but I'm not married anymore. I'm doing me. I'm single again, and I'm looking for a good girl who is a good man and wants to have a good time and wants to live life to the fullest and not a big cheater. <clears throat> so, if you out there and you looking for a good man or whatever, no label, because I don't fucking like to call myself a man anymore. I'm just me. I feel like I want to feel. Like, sometimes I feel stuck. Sometimes I feel man. Like, sometimes I wear my beard. Sometimes I fucking don't want to wear facial hair on my face. So, yeah, I guess you could say I flip flop from stud to somewhat trans man and whatever and as far as surgery it's like not in my fucking brain anymore it's not I thought that it was going to make me whole but then I realized that surgery is not going to make me whole I make myself whole surgery is just um, an asset to help with my feeling whole feeling complete Feeling emotionally, mentally complete. That is what surgery does for me. If I get chest surgery, if I get lower surgery, if I get auntie, that's what it's gonna do. And at the end of the day, I don't have to feel like a man to look like a man and to be a man. You feel me? I don't have to care myself and have the appearance of a man to feel like a man. Or have a parents to feel a draw, uh, dominant. I don't need all that. I don't fucking need testosterone to feel like that anymore. I'm I'm so damn deal with myself and thinking I need to be on hormones and tea and surgery and all that, which just costs a lot of money. When I can just feel whole and complete and happy with myself and still be the man I am. Regardless of my chest. My chest is not define the man I am. I define the fucking man I am. My fucking facial hair does not define how manly I am or how manly I'm not. It doesn't matter. I'm going through, I feel how I want to feel. That's the reason why I'm a no label. I don't need to have hair on my face. I don't need to have my chest gone. I don't need to be on tea. None of that shit. So right now, I'm a single dolo. I'm a single happy man. Or stud, or whatever fuck you want to label you want to give me. Because regardless of what the fuck I call myself, y'all gonna give me a label. But, Kumari is Kumari. Kamari is who Kamari is going to be and who Kamari wants Kamari to be. And that's who I am. And if you can't accept it, then fucking roll off and don't subscribe to me. Don't look at none of my videos. Don't want to be my friend. Then fine. Don't Facebook my friendship. Don't fucking send requests on neither one of my pages. None of that. Because at the end of the day, I accept who I am and I accept the way I am and that at the end of the day I'm already been born a man so I don't fucking ever change shit. You know what I'm saying? I already got man equipment and I already, yeah, I got a female chest so I can be a stud if I want to one day or not be a stud. I can be a fucking man if I want to and, and let my hair grow out on my face. 
I can be whatever the fuck I want to because God made me this way for a reason. And guess what? I just educated you motherfuckers. Don't get into a marriage that is not holy in union and then it's a hundred percent guaranteed because I just tried it and I'm miserable. The marriage was a shamble. Marriage was great when I got married. A couple of days it was, but I found out she's a liar and she's a cheater and she's bisexual and she thinks she now want to be gay and I just don't got time for all that. Come on, I ain't got time for all that. Y'all feel me? Come on, I ain't got time for all that. Yeah.